Hello and welcome to video 6 of our course on mobile data collection using the Kobo toolbox. My name is Wilfred Ngwa for the AP Guide Art channel. In our last video, we looked at how to set up and use Kobo Collect Forms on Android devices as well as on a computer. In this video, which will be in two parts, I will show you how to manage your Kobo toolbox database. We will be looking at 1. How to check submissions made to your forms. 2. How to view and analyze your data online. 3. How to view and download your submitted data. And 4. How to view and download photos and maps, which we will cover in the second part of this video. That said, let's get started. When you complete entering data into your form, whether on a mobile device or computer, Kobo tells you when you are at the end and gives you the option to save and exit. I have entered some random data and to complete my form, therefore, I will click on Save Form and Exit. Kobo takes me to the startup page. As you can see, Edit Saved Form is updated with number 1 as well as Send Finalized Form. The edit finalized form gives you the possibility to go back to your form and edit while the send finalized form permits you to upload your form to the server, which is what we want at the moment. So I'll go ahead and send the finalized form. Once you open your account on a browser, you will notice that the number of submissions on your project has been updated. If your account was already open, you just need to refresh to view any updates. Here is one of my accounts that has some projects with more data. As you can see, I have two completed projects. To view data for your project, click on the project and then on the data tab. By default and under the report section of the data tab, Kobo performs some basic analysis for you, which you can copy and paste in your reports or just print if the analysis provided suit your objectives. You can also create your own report by clicking on the SUMO drop-down arrow close to the custom reports and selecting Create New Report. Once this is done, Kobo shows you the list of questions in your form for you to select the ones you want analysis for. Select them and click Save. Also remember to give a title to your report. Most of the graphs provided by Kobo come in the form of bar charts. Kobo, however, gives you the option to change the chart types into donor charts, pie charts, line graphs, and what have you, depending on what best describes the variable you want to analyze. The online analysis done by Kobo is very limited as you might have already observed. Downloading your dataset will allow you to do analysis offline and use your dataset in other platforms for analysis or visualization. Elsewhere, most datasets are hardly 100% clean, and you may also want to do some cleaning offline. The Downloads section in the Data tab permits you to generate downloads for your dataset. Your dataset can be downloaded in XLS, CSV, ZIP, SPSS, and or KML formats. Once you have chosen which format is OK for you, click on Export. 
Kobo processes an export file and creates an export session below where all your exports are saved. You can click on the download icon to the right to download and save on your computer. I couldn't find a finished project where I have maps and images uploaded. So to do this section, I will need your support. I have created this short questionnaire with the link shared in the comment section for you to complete. Next week, we will use the submitted data to continue from where we left off. We are at the end of today's video. Thanks for watching and remember to click on the subscribe button on the left bottom corner. See you next week for another exciting video. Ciao.